This is pretty unbelievable. Add tremendous value to the VFX space. Hey guys, probably the biggest update of the year just went live. So Gen 1 by Runway is now open for public to play around. Just to quickly recap what Gen 1 is. So effectively Gen 1 allows you to create video to video and upload a certain video and then even texture for that video and Gen 1 can compose an entire video in the texture of the image that you had uploaded as a reference. Just to quickly show you how it works, here's a quick demo. So you can see this is the video. There is a prompt that is adding. Then you can see how the video is now regenerated in the new texture. So this is what effectively Gen 1 allows you to do. And it's been in beta for I think a couple of months now, but now it's live. So we'll be quickly testing out how it works. You can see there's a sample generation that's already ready, right? So I had uploaded this video and then it was able to generate this specific video for me. I had uploaded this lava texture as well as a part of the input. And I'm going to quickly show you how you can sign up here. So in order to use, so in order to use Gen1, just come to app.runwayml.com. You can see here, there is Gen1 beta now available. Just click here, upload the video that you want to generate. So I've downloaded a couple of videos. I'm going to upload one more here. As a part of the beta, it will only process first three seconds of the video. I'm going to quickly get this video uploaded and I'm going to show you how you can apply textures. And quickly also use Leonardo AI to generate a texture for me. Bear in mind that there is some service disruption happening because of the amount of load that that gen 1 is going through right now so you may be facing difficulties when you're trying to upload these videos you can see it's crashing a lot if it's crashing a lot for you just before you can upload your video again ensure that your videos are not too high quality and trust me when i say this it's crashing a lot so this time we're uploading a video of a boxer you can see the video is now uploaded this this is the kind of ui you're able to see here so you can either use some demo images or inspiration from here the cyberpunk minimalist lava which is something that i had used previously or you can upload your own texture here i've generated this image of an astronaut here and i'm going to quickly upload this you can also upload your own texture you can see my avatar is here and i'm going to try it out in a bit Here's our image. Let's click on generate. Again, it takes a few seconds to generate the final video. So you may have to wait. Also remember as a part of the free plan, you just get around 45 seconds of video or so. And then each second of video generation costs you 14 credits. You get around 450 credits uh, as a part of the free plan. And you can only generate up to first three seconds of the video. So you can see the video is being generated here. It's 48% done. Obviously you can go ahead and customize your style strength. So we'll dictate how much or how much more or less you trans translate your image and presets or add text prompts in order to uh, generate elements in your video and this is how the final generation looks like for our boxing video it's not accurate but it looks pretty pretty cool it's just the first three seconds of the video you can obviously choose the same video again and add some other style in order to generate and generate something else what i'm gonna do is quickly choose the same video and apply my own avatar and see how the generation looks like now Remember if during the generation your Gen 1 crashes like this, it will still be generating your um, video in the background. So don't worry about restarting it again and again. I did it once and I generated the same video twice. Visible here, just go ahead and click here and you will be able to see the videos you have generated. I'm going to wait a few seconds until my video is generated. I'm going to show you how this looks. Meantime, what you can also do is choose from presets where you can say there's claymation, watercolor, paper origami, pen and ink, charcoal sketch, cloudscape, or you can add a text prompt that you want to generate. So in order to use a good prompt, I'm gonna go to, go to Lexica and copy this prompt. Let's go back to this. Again, note this is extremely unstable, so you may difficulties in order. When you're trying to process your images, you can see uh, it's generated an output video with the avatar. Obviously, it's not perfect, but it's kind of tried to add my face on the video itself. I'm pretty sure it's not perfect, but it's done decent job, at least to start off with. Let's do the same video again and let's try it with prompt. I'm going to add this here and click on generate. Again, if it crashes, just check back in the few seconds and it will it will be able to generate that final video for you. And trust me when I say this, it's crashing a lot. Personally, I also feel that it's way faster when it comes to generation. Obviously, it's only generating first few seconds of the video, but it's still relatively faster than what I had expected. So it's doing a fantastic job there. And I think the video is now ready. So this is the prompt that I had answered and this is the output that was generated. This is the original art. I personally feel while it's not perfect, it's still way more aligned than what I had expected. 
And if you're interested in kind of checking out or using this for your processes, you can go ahead and check the pricing out here. Anyways, in general, I think this is pretty unbelievable and will add tremendous value to the VFX space. And I'm really, really excited to see what happens in Gen 2, which was very recently announced as recently as last week. Excited, you guys, if you're interested, consider checking out my other videos. Share this across with a friend and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.